I thought we'd have something a little bit different for this week's viewer's image. I've had a few of you send me in portraits. Now portraits is something I have no concept of how to do and I really should learn. Off camera flash is like black magic to me. So this particular image came from Derek Mack. Thank you very much Derek. You took it whilst you're on a lighting workshop and I think it's absolutely fabulous. The lighting on the model is wonderful. It throws the background nicely out of focus but not to the point where you can't tell that she's at the sea or on the edge of the sea. Beautiful sunset going down in the background. Yeah, it's really nice. I absolutely love it. Thank you ever so much, Derek. It's nice to have something a bit different to landscapes. idea if you can hear me we've got 24 25 mile an hour gusts of wind I can't hear myself think <laughs> and I'm trying to do some long exposures which means I'm having to actually stand on the tripod feet to try and keep the camera as stable as I can just over my shoulder you can see one of the Gormley statues and that's what I was just shooting I'd actually come down to shoot I can't see it from it. Oh, there's a thing out there anyway. I'll show you in a second. Uh, but the tide is almost in. I think it's got about another hour to go. But talking to you whilst I'm doing this is going to be huge fun. Yeah, touch breezy. Well, oh, <laughs> because of this wind, I've given up any thoughts of actually doing any serious photography. So I'm just playing around. I haven't played around for a while. I've got the 0.9 reverse grad on from, wait for it, KNF Concept. And I'm amazed there is no color cast with it. I'm really impressed. Um, I have the six stop on, and I'm just experimenting with exposure times of between half a second and three and four seconds trying to capture the waves as they come in to get a bit of motion in it because he's making some really nice lines because of the way the light is i'm not sure if you can see this we have a anthony gormley here and i'm just using him kind of pushed over to the right so we've got a bit of negative space there and i'm just watching for the waves coming in because it's quite wild it's quite windy we've got some nice white frothy lines coming in the sun is just coming out beautifully and really highlighting everything so i'm quite liking that and i'm just trying different settings so yes i'm quite enjoying this I've just sunk. I've turned my composition around slightly. I've moved to the other side of this Anthony Gormley statue. And the sun is casting some beautiful light on it. I can't see the LCD display properly because the sun is so bright, but it's bringing out the green on his head. It's such a shame this is gonna have to go mono because it really does pop. And I'm just, again, having huge fun firing off exposure after exposure, catching the waves as they're coming in and leaving that beautiful streakiness. <sighs> the tide is now far enough out that you can actually see, I, I can't see what I'm pointing at here, I think he's there somewhere. You can see his mount, the pole that he stood on. 
but every now and then we get a nice big wave that hides that at the same time as letting us get the streakiness that I'm after. Oh god, this is what Sunday afternoons are made for. I was hoping to try and get some reflections because this sand is holding the water. But the angle that the sun's coming in at, I'm just getting a massive blown out, bleh, horrible thing. But the last shot that I did was... A six of a second ISO 100 F16. But I think we've about... Oh! Feet get stuck in the mud. I think we're about done with this guy now because, as I say, the waves just aren't covering the the pole that he's on, except for that one, which is. <laughs> this is what I love about long exposure photography. Just keep going. It's all about timing, and mine isn't particularly brilliant, but I think they might have worked. Yeah. Yes, and I'm. Um, the sky, <coughs> excuse me, we've got a band of white cloud and then we've got blue. Now the cloud is supposed to disappear this evening before sunset. I think when it's turned to mono, that will work quite nicely. I could stay here all day and all night. Yeah. Sometimes I'm so stupid. I got that carried away doing long exposures of that object there. Trying different compositions. Um, I did a couple of compositions where I had mainly C with the nice streaky water that you get. I was playing with the six stop, I was playing with the ten stop. And then I looked to my right and all these flipping boards are coming to view. <laughs> So I kind of legged it over. I've got a shot, not the shot that I wanted, but I've got a shot. But I've just done a composition side on with the struts coming in from the right hand side, leading out to whatever that thing is there. And that's worked quite nicely. I really wish I could show you more of what I'm doing, but it's still too blowing windy. It's ridiculous. And as I say, the intention has always been mono, and they work perfectly in mono. There's a little bit of post-processing work to do on the sky, but yes, I got what I came for in the main. Hee! <laughs> and I will definitely be back here, and I'll keep a better eye on what's going on, <laughs> instead of getting carried away. Um, in terms of what I've been shooting, uh, F16, F14, somewhere between 61 seconds, 58 seconds, when I had the six stop on, I was at anywhere from five seconds to um, <laughs> or 0.5 of a second. Just playing with exposures, seeing what effect I can get in the waves. Well, I've got the images that I wanted, <laughs> whether they're in focus or not remains to be seen. <laughs> Given the conditions that were out there, it wouldn't surprise me if they're soft. But I've learnt a lot about what time to be here, what conditions I need, what the tide times are like, what the tide heights are like, so it's really not been a wasted journey. And if I haven't got the exact image I want this time, not a problem, I shall be back, definitely. The nice thing about this place, it doesn't seem to matter how low the tide is, or how low the high tide is, because it's so far out to sea anyway. So that's it. Kettle's on, or it will be in about 30 seconds. Cup of tea, sort Maddie out, and then head home. I'm hoping I've got some decent images that meet my criteria of mono, minimal and negative space and I'll catch you all soon. 
Bye.